well hello my beautiful and gorgeous bougie friend welcome back to the channel so today i will be answering all of your questions about how i film my nail tutorials i'll be going over my equipment what editing software i use and all of that good stuff i will also be uh showing you guys how i make my custom nail video backgrounds these ones right here so if you guys are curious on how i make those please stick around um and i'll even show you guys how i stay organized and whatnot it's the new year friend so why not start something new start your own channel boo boo follow your dreams if i could do it you could do it i also would love to point out that today is my channel's one year birthday i have officially been on youtube for a whole freaking year friend thank you so much for twelve thousand subscribers i'm so freaking thankful like you don't even know i never really thought that i'd be here if you were to ask me a year ago that this would be my channel i would literally slap you i'm still in shock i still can't believe it i'm so thankful and let me show you guys how i got here so that you could get here too get that bag sis <laughs> All right, let's get started. Okay, so really, really quick. I will not be going over like the decor on my desk. I will only be going over the stuff that I use to record my YouTube videos. So if you guys are curious about my desk or my bench or any of that stuff, I will be linking them down in the description box below. But I won't be going into full detail on them in this video. Just on what I use to do my YouTube videos. Make sense? <laughs> okay, let's get started. Started for real, for real. Okay, bye. <laughs> Okay, friendship. So here is my little setup. As you guys could see, it's a little ghetto rigged. And if you guys could hear a little bit of noise, I apologize. It's raining outside and I live by a freeway. So if you guys hear honk honk or noise or whatever, just know it's not my fault. Mother nature. Let's get back to the setup. So here I have a little mat. I get a lot of questions as to where I purchased my mat. I actually purchased this from Amazon, friend. Just Google nail mat and it should be one of the first ones to pop up also if you guys want to save a little bit of money joann's has these large pieces of glitter construction paper slash scrapbooking paper for like a dollar 49 and they're a pretty good substitute for the glitter mat if you guys don't want to spend 14 dollars on it just thought i'd let you guys know here is my phone holder i use this to hold my cell phone while i record i snap my phone in here and i could just film myself doing a whole bunch of nail stuff and let me show you guys how it works switch it back a little bit hey look you can see me Hey, boo boo. And so I'm gonna grab my cell phone. This is an old phone. And I like to film with my back camera. So I'm gonna flip it like this. I'm gonna open up the little mouth of the tripod. And then I'm just gonna close it shut. And then I'm just gonna adjust it like so. So that I can film. Super simple. And this is how I connect it. So I'm gonna hold it like that. You place the tripod in there like that. And screw it on. And voila. Here's the hat. Another phone holder slash tripod thing that I recommend is this little hand tripod. I also recommend it a lot for vlogs. It's pretty handy. No pun intended. <laughs> I'll link it down in the description box below. <laughs> now let's move on to the ring light, friend. Okay, boo. So here is here are my ring lights. It's a double-headed ring light in one. And I have placed it behind my desk. And I have pushed back my chair so that you guys could see what it looks like and this is how i have positioned it i know it's a little ghetto friend but um it's what's been working for me i've actually been looking for ring lights that go on your table like they go on the table and they hover over your camera but the cell phone gets in the way and it provides really weird shading it actually has different settings here i'm gonna be down here and i'm gonna be changing the settings but i'm gonna put you up here look oh wrong one look at the different light settings friendship Oh shoot, you can't even tell. Oh wait, because I'm dimming it. Wow, really? And yeah, you could change the the light settings on this thing, which is pretty awesome. And that's pretty much it, friend. I don't really use any other fancy tools to film. My rubber neck tripod was like about $21 and my ring light was about maybe like $45. All I do know is that everything that I use is under... Um, like 50 bucks because i don't really like to spend that much money and it just really goes to show that you don't need to buy a lot of fancy and really expensive equipment in order to start a youtube channel
And another common question that I always get asked is what type of editing software do I use to make my YouTube videos? And the answer is easy. It's iMovie. iMovie is free and um, I can actually edit on my phone. I don't edit on my laptop. I pretty much bought a laptop so that I could edit and I bought it for nothing because I don't even use it, friend. I edit and I film and I do everything off of my phone. Super easy, super fast, super cheap. And, you know, I don't have to buy like a really fancy, fancy camera. So yeah, I hope this helps out. Um, I don't know of any other editing softwares, but if you guys do recommend other editing softwares other than iMovie, please let me know in the comment section down below. I would love to know that. Now for today's video, I will not be showing you guys how I edit on iMovie because I feel like that will take a little bit too long and I feel like that will be a little bit too difficult for me to explain. I don't feel like I can explain it very well for now. But my biggest piece of advice that I could give you is you want to use iMovie is to just record yourself whatever you want to upload onto YouTube whatever video you want to use and just go ahead upload it onto iMovie and just pick at it and try learning how to use iMovie on your own friend and I know it may seem hard at first but trust me friend if I could do it you could do it you could definitely do it dude like there's no way that you can't it's really easy once you get the hang of it I also wanted to share with you guys this little tool. This is a little stylus pen that I use. The majority of the time, I have extra, extra, extra long nails on both of my hands. And this little pen helps me type, helps me text, helps me edit, helps me do everything on my phone because my nails literally get in the way of everything. They get in the way of texting. They get in the way of messaging. So this little pen helps me out a lot so i definitely recommend it and i'll be linking it down in the description box below to all of my long nailed mamas out there that need a little help texting typing and editing is a cricket machine my cricket machine has really helped me out a lot it has helped me create designs that i don't have the skills to create yet because i suck at hand drawing designs essentially what the cricut does is create um nail stickers for me um let me show you guys some examples of what it has here are some examples of the stickers that i have created with my cricut i have created lots of louis vuitton stickers I have a problem, I know, I'm upset. You guys have a shaky, shaky hand like me and you guys can't draw or make designs for like the life of you, I definitely recommend investing in a Cricut, especially if you guys have a press-on-nail business as well. I have heard that this thing has been a lifesaver for press-on-nail businesses because you guys could just make your stickers, stick them on the nails, blah, 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 and you guys don't have to hand draw everything on your own. So yeah, that's one thing. And with the Cricut, I'm going to teach you guys how I make my little nail backgrounds for my YouTube videos. If you guys are familiar with the background that i'm talking about i'll insert a picture right here that's the little um background that i'm talking and it helps um just make your videos look a lot cleaner and i thought it was a perfect little tip to give out to you guys um for your channels okay my beautiful and gorgeous bougie friend i'm gonna be switching over to voiceover from here on out so let's start off by opening up our cricket and what the heck is that omg me and freaking hairs if it's not a cat hair it's a me hair so let me put that away so we're going to grab a, a picture frame you could get these from the dollar tree and for the background i just want the clear part of the picture frame so let's take the picture frame apart and this is what i'm going to be grabbing Ta -da! and i'm gonna put that away to the side and make sure that you don't sit on it because that's how i break mine most of the time i usually just sit on mine <laughs> by accident not on purpose and now i'm going to load my cricut machine with uh the color of vinyl paper of my choice and now i'm going to open up my cricut app and once it's open i'm going to start a new project and uh, I'm going to click on the bottom here and I'm going to select from uploaded or like open uploaded images. And it should show you your uploaded images. And I have already created this Vanity Val logo right here. So I'm going to click on it. It's going to pop up on my creative space. And I'm going to size it. I am going to size it about 6 inches wide and about 1 inch in height. And now I'm going to click the green button in the bottom. And boop. We're going to create it and then it should show what it looks like on the mat here. And now I'm going to click the green button again and it's going to ask me to select an accessory and it should be the first one to pop up. And once it's connected, it's going to take me to the um, to mat one of one 
and I have already set my material to vinyl plus because this vinyl is uh, a lot thicker than regular vinyl and now that I've loaded my mat it should start creating my um, my logo right away and this shouldn't take that long the machine is just going to keep cutting out your design until it's ready When it's done cutting out the logo, it should say action complete and you should unload your mat and you're going to click OK and it should let go of your, you know, your little purple mat and peel off your sticker and cut it off to size. Just make sure not to cut your sticker. <laughs> I've done that plenty of times before, so don't be like me. And I'm going to cut down the line right here. And once I am done, I am going to grab my glass. You see the glass right here? And I'm going to make sure that my image is nice and centered. So I'm going to place it on top of the glass to see what it looks like. I want to place the Vanity Val logo like that. See? Looks hella cute. And now I'm going to grab some clear transfer paper. Wait, wait. Before I grab the clear transfer paper, I'm going to grab my tweezers. And I'm going to peel or I'm going to uh, like take out all of the little pieces. Like all the pieces inside of the A's. In the pieces inside of the V and once I have taken out all of the pieces as you guys could see I'm gonna get some clear transfer paper and I'm gonna cut it to the size of my sticker and then I'm gonna take the clear uh, transfer sticker I'm gonna peel it off and I'm gonna place it right on top of the sticker that we just created like that make sure to press every single detail onto the clear sticker friend because what you are going to do is you're going to peel this clear sticker off and it's going to peel your sticker, your Cricut sticker that you just made off. And then just place it onto your clear um, picture frame thing. Press down on it really, really hard. Make sure that all the details are pressed into the glass. And now take off your, um, your clear transfer paper. And voila, friend, there is your logo for your nail channel. And I'm going to do it again with a little vowel. Voila! So cute! Look it. Ew! Hella fancy, and you could decorate it however you want. You could add Louis Vuitton stickers, you could add pop prints, you could add whatever the heck you want. Now I'm gonna grab a glitter background. I'm gonna place my glass on top, and look, friends. Hella official! Now you get to show off your nails like that. What do you guys think? I get so many questions on how I make this and I finally get to show you guys how. Okay, now let's move on to the next thing that I recommend. This cute organizer drawer from Michaels. So I bought this from Michaels, but you could also get it from Amazon. And I love it because I get to organize all my nail polishes in here. And since they are different brands, they don't look aesthetically pleasing on a wall. So I decided to keep them in a drawer. And in this second drawer here, I keep all of my bling. As you guys can see, I'm obsessed with bling. I'm probably going to need another drawer dedicated to bling because I'm running out of space. And in this other drawer, I kept my nail stickers, but I took them out earlier. And here are some of my glues, some of my glitters that I'm looking forward to using in future poly gel videos. And right here is just a junk drawer. I keep all of my extra nail supplies, extra nail buffers, and my favorite Apre nail tips and this bottom drawer right here is just full of just random tips i'm obsessed with press on nails y'all and i don't know if you guys paid attention but all of these labels are wrong <laughs> i used to keep the uh, i used to keep different things in these drawers i was about to say different okay friends so the last thing that i recommend if you guys want to start a youtube channel you guys don't have to get this exact planner but i am going to recommend the clever fox planner pro some of you guys aren't going to like this planner though because it is a little bit expensive now take a deep breath sit down and i'm gonna tell you the price this planner is 36.99 i would never pay this much for a freaking planner but let me tell you uh this planner has helped me out a lot this planner has helped me in so much um I'm gonna be a bit vulnerable and i'm showing you guys my month of december but this planner helps me out with my youtube channel and it helps me out with my mental health the reason why i love it so much is because it helps me set goals and it helps me become more productive um you guys don't have to get it like i said but i'll put the link down in the description box below if you guys are interested in this planner also the last 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 thing that i recommend is that you guys get a good uv lamp friend this is a 120 watt uv lamp and it dries my gel polish like a dream and i will be linking it down in the description box below it's 20 
2021 mama there's no reason why you should have a lamp that works like gaga and that's pretty much it my beautiful and gorgeous bougie friend i know that youtube could be a little scary and i know that it's really really intimidating but you could do it i believe in you when i first started my youtube friend i only had a snapchat with 35 people on it can you freaking believe that i also didn't have that much support from my friends or family either but you know what people don't owe you anything you owe it to yourself and as long as you are consistent and as long as you work hard and you truly truly believe in yourself honestly there's nothing that you can't accomplish accomplish in this world you got this dude i believe in you i honestly really really do because if i i could do it you could freaking do it too because who the heck am i <laughs> i spent years and years getting in my own freaking way because i was so scared of my freaking voice i was scared that i was gonna get bullied for my voice and i still i still get bullied for it i get occasional comments saying crap but you know what in the wise words of rupaul unless they're paying your bills pay them bitches no mind so just be yourself dude i hope you found today's video helpful and if i missed anything or if you have any freaking questions just let me know let me know in the comment section down below or just reach out to me on instagram and don't forget to subscribe and give me a big thumbs up if you guys found today's video helpful and don't forget to check out my new merch store if you guys are interested and i love you so much my beautiful and gorgeous bougie friend i will see you next week Mwah. goodbye